Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Armada Universe Hotshot. Let's start off by taking a look at the packaging and then we'll get into the review. So of course up front we have Transformers on the side, the Armada Universe Hotshot with a very classic Autobot symbol, a really cool artwork shot of Hotshot in his car mode, the Legacy Evolution logo, an open window displaying the figure in the packaging. If you do flip to the top, there is the QR code. So if you scan that, it will show his stats. On the side, there is two really cool artwork shots, one close up of his face and a more wide artwork shot of him running in a really cool battle pose with his blaster and his back cannon, which is a feature on this figure. It's actually his Evo Fusion gimmick. Speaking of his Evo Fusion gimmick, there's a really cool product shot of that on the back. He transforms in 21 steps. There's two more product shots, one of the car and robot, and there is also Armada Hotshot at the very top. If you do flip to the final side, we have half of the Legacy Evolution artwork, so if you do get another deluxe and put the boxes together, you can complete the full Legacy Evolution artwork, which I think is a pretty cool gimmick or feature a part of this box. And that is pretty much it for the packaging, so let's now get into the review. Here we have Hotshot in his car mode. Let's start off by taking a look at the details. Starting at the very front, we have some really nice black for this front grille section, some silver for this front portion of the hood, some silver for the headlights, and some really nice transparent blue plastic for the main windscreen. Some really nice kind of glossy, shiny, smooth yellow plastic for the rest of the hood. And there's this open space where you can store the accessory, which I'll show in just a sec. Also, if you turn to the side, there's some really cool details like the door handle, the mirror, and the wheels. I actually do really like the sculpt of it. It's actually super cool because the front and the back wheels are a different sculpt and overall I think this figure rolls pretty well across the ground of course this is a cloth surface so there is a little bit of grab and I do quite like the black stripe going from the front to back of the car and if you do turn to the top there is actually a different shade of yellow and as many collectors know of Transformers sometimes color matching is a little bit hard from paint to plastic so this might be an accident and this is, could be the best they could do for the yellow um, paint they have or it could be on purpose I'm not really sure but I actually do like the two different shades of yellow that's just my opinion and I do like this really nice uh, black painted design there on top of the car that looks pretty cool and there's actually two sports fins on the back one with a really classic opposite symbol and also there is a big post back here and I think this might mean that we're actually going to get some Armada Minicons maybe in the MicroMaster scale or the Core Class scale I'd actually really like to see that and hoping they're going to do that in Evolution or whatever next wave uh, comes next in this trilogy but overall I actually really do like this car let's now get down to his accessories so it does come with a sort of blaster engine block piece so of course the sculpting and the painting are really good there's these really cool pipes done the silver this whole barrel section and there's actually some nut and bolt design which looks super cool some black in the center and if you do flip to the other side of course we do have two pegs to match the two posts and that's how that stores and I do want to give a warning though because these uh, uh, pegs here or handles are actually painted red and you can actually see there is already some paint chipping you can see the silver is coming through so I would advise some caution whenever plugging this into place so I typically just plug it about halfway into those ports because I do not want to cause more paint chipping but there we have the full complete look of Armada Hotshot in his car mode I think that that looks super cool you can imagine some flames shooting out the side of those pipes and again these are blast beast compatible so you can get him some really cool battle poses so let's now get down to a few vehicle mode comparisons here he is with deluxe class scrap hook which the review should be on the channel very soon and i think they overall look pretty cool next to each other even though their vehicle modes are completely different one's a sports car one's a very war-torn truck but they look pretty cool in my opinion just getting a different view here and they look pretty cool and size-wise, I would say they're pretty much the same. So if you have scrap hook but don't have hotshot yet and you're wearing the size of the car, I'd say they're pretty much the same size. And that's pretty much it for that comparison. Now for one final one, here he is with Voyager Class Leo Prime. And I do apologize if the white is a little bit blasted out. Of course, most of Leo Prime is white. So hopefully you can see all the details and see him here. But they do look pretty cool next to each other. And his review should be on the channel very soon as well. And I will have several more comparisons whenever he is in his robot mode. And that is pretty much it for the Vic mode. So let's now get down to transformation. Now for transformation, I would advise to take off the accessory and just put that off to the side. Then you're going to go to the side of the car, open up the doors, and just flip these all the way down to cover the front wheel of the car. Do the same thing on the other side. So just get that door, bring it all the way back and down, collapse it like that. And then you can go to the back of the car, bring these entire fin pieces out just like that. And you can untab the whole back pieces and just pretty much separate this entire piece from this back portion of the car. Then you can split the front of the car in half just like that. And these are actually the legs. And then what you want to do is flip to the back and you can actually completely 
uh, hinge the entire leg out. So there is actually a slot on the inner part of the leg and a tap right there, and that's going to tap into place. There's also, hopefully you can see there is a notch on the inside of the leg, and there is a tab on this under portion right there, and that's going to slide right into place. You're just going to do both of that, tabbing that into place. You can then do the same thing on the other side, so just hinge all of this into place like that. And there we go. Then we can go to the front and you're going to get this entire little section that's just going to fold under that whole piece. Do the same thing on your side, just do that. And then what you can do is actually turn the leg like this and then these whole window pieces are going to rotate down and cover up this gap like that. So just rotate it down using that ball joint and cover it up like that. And then you can bring the arms out and just position them however you want, like that. Rotate at the waist, like this. And then you can flip the feet out using your nail. Flip it out, like that. Do the same thing on the other leg. Just flip it out, like that. And sometimes these little window pieces can get kind of messed up, so you might have to reposition some things after transformation. And the legs and arms are all done. Then you can get this entire car portion. I'm actually going to have to hinge the camera up just like that. There we go. Then you can hinge this entire car portion back and down. Get these whole fin pieces. Just hinge these up. And these will actually tab. These are slots here and there's tabs there. And those will tab right into place. First, what you're going to want to do, though, is get this entire compartment, hinge it out, flip out the head like that, and then collapse this up. And then, of course, you can have the binoculars up or down if you want to. And then just tab these into place like that. And there we have Hot Shots in his robot mode. Let's take a look at the details. Here we have Hot Shot in his robot mode. Let's start by taking a look at the details, starting at the very top with that head sculpt. Some really nice yellow for the main helmet section, some blue for the eyes, and that really nice kind of creamy white gray for the face. Also, of course, if you flip down the binders, some really nice gunmetal gray for the base color, and some really nice transparent blue plastic for the whole screen. I think that looks super cool. As for the shoulders, mostly done in yellow, very classic out of a symbol there. Unfortunately, these pieces do have a tendency to untab, which is a bit unfortunate. Some really nice yellow for the rest or the remaining uh, part of the arm, and some really nice gray. Uh, Gunmetal gray, kind of silver for the form, which looks super cool. There's also some really cool kind of armor uh, guard pieces on the forearms, which looks super cool. And the sculpt of the hand, I think they're really good job with. As for the chest, mostly done in silver and red, and there's some really cool kind of layer effect going on. That is actually a perfect spot to put an Abba symbol. I think the reason why they didn't is there's one at the shoulder. And in my personal opinion, I think it would probably look cooler there, right below the head. That's just my opinion. And there's some more red where the crotch and the top of the legs are. And this is where some people have some problems. So yes, there is quite a bit of kibble and some waffling on the inside of the legs. Actually, as you can see, there's quite a bit of hollowness and it's a little bit ugly. But honestly, I can easily give it a pass. But um, I think really my biggest complaint of the legs is I think there could be some more paint apps because there's all this red and yellow, which does look cool. I think there's some really good sculpt work. But I think they can, could have maybe used some more silver or maybe some more red, some gunmetal gray. I think that would look super cool there. But overall, the feet design doesn't look too bad, mostly done in black. As for the side, as you can see, there is quite a bit of kibble on the back. That's the whole front of the car and the Evo Fusion gimmick, so I can easily give that a pass. That kind of had to be there for it to work. But overall, the uh, kibble on the back of the legs, I wouldn't say it, does, it doesn't look ugly, but there is kibble. You know, there's some stuff sticking out, but we have the entire window pieces back here, which doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. And I overall do really like the design of this figure. So let's now get down to articulation, which I think is overall pretty good. So the head can look slightly up, unfortunately not down at all. Side to side, as for the arm, it can move out and in. There is a bicep rotation, elbow bend. And here is, I would say, is probably my biggest complaint of the remote mode. Unfortunately, there is no wrist rotation in the arm which I really think they could do, because if you have the circuit in hand, or if you're going to, a part of transformation, you really don't transform the arm. You just kind of put it to the side of the body, and these panels tab into it. You don't, like, transform it or fold in the hand or anything. It just stays as it is. So I really think they probably could have put a, a wrist rotation in there. I think that's probably my biggest complaint of the figure. There is also a waist rotation, full 360, unhindered, which is really nice. It can kick that far forward, that far back, 
out to the side, so full splits. There is a swivel and there is an angle pivot to a very good degree. Also, huge positive, if you get a copy of this figure and for some reason the uh, wrist rotation is actually a little bit loose, there is actually a locking mechanism. So there is a uh, post on the inside and there's a port there. So if you want, you can actually tab that into place just in case the feet are a little bit loose for your liking. And that is it for articulation. Overall, I would say pretty good, pretty standard for a deluxe figure, but I, d I definitely think, especially on this deluxe, they could have definitely worked in a wrist rotation. But let's now get down to his accessories. So he does come with that same blaster as I showed before in the car mode. Really like the silver, the really cool pipe design, some nut and bolts, some black, and it is also blaster piece compatible. And there is, of course, two posts. If you went further out of the arm or further in, you can choose whichever. I'm going to plug it in like that, and I think that overall looks pretty cool. Now for the Evo Fusion gimmick, which I think is so cool. So what you do is you flip the goggles down just like that. And this is a thing that came from the Armada show. And I'm really glad this is a part of this figure. So you flip them down. Then you go to the back here. You get this entire car kind of wheel section. You flip this up. And then what you do is you use this whole swivel and hinge. And you just swivel this entire portion forward. And there's also a hinge here. So you can have it further up or down. Really just your personal preference. And I think that looks really cool in my opinion. Typically, I kind of face it forward. I think it looks a little bit odd if it's sticking to the side. That's just my opinion. And I do like it angled a little bit up and that looks super cool. And this is also blast piece compatible. So you can create some really cool firing of battle poses, which I really do like. And that is pretty much it for the features and accessories. I think they did a really good job with it. Let's now get down to a few comparisons. So I'm actually going to have to zoom the camera out just a tad a bit because this guy is actually pretty big. So hopefully it can fit in the shot. But here is another Armada figure. Here he is with Armada Starscream from Legacy Wave 2 or 3. I always forget, but they do look pretty cool next to each other. I do apologize. These swords are a little bit cut off. Hopefully I can get them in shots, but they do look super cool next to each other. Um, and I really do hope they make some more Armada figures. I think they've done, I think they did a pretty good job so far. I know there's a bit of controversy on the, uh, prime figures from Legacy. You know, they're slightly stylized, a little bit different, like Prime RC, Bulkhead. They're a little bit different, like Knockout as well. These, I think, um, I think they stayed true to the Armada design. I think they did a pretty good job with them. If I had to choose which one I like better of these two Armada figures, I think I have to like Hotshot more, which is quite a surprise because of just the design, the backstory, the character itself from the show. I actually like Starscream the most. I think there's just a few problems here and there that I don't like about it, but hopefully, really hopefully, we get an Armada Optimus Prime Commander Class figure for Legacy Evolution. That would be so cool, and even more than that, hopefully we get some Deluxes, maybe some Minicons. That would be really cool to see, but they do look pretty cool next to each other, and also a really cool feature is, since Starscream does come with the Star Saber, you can actually give it to Hotshot now, because if you watch the show, Hotshot actually did have the Star Saber off and on. Typically, it was in Hotshot, sometimes Megatron, or Starscream's hands. So you can definitely create some really cool scenes from the show with that and that's pretty much it for that comparison so now for one uh, deluxe comparison here he is with scrap hook and i think they look pretty cool next to each other and that is pretty much it for the comparisons and that is actually pretty much it for the robot mode so let's now get down to the final thoughts now for the final thoughts for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Armada Hotshot starting in the Aroma mode. I think they did a really good job with it. The design of the head sculpt is so accurate to the Armada show. They definitely nailed it. I also really do like the Evil Fusion gimmick with a huge turret and the goggles on his face. That looks super cool. Also, his accessory I actually do quite like the design of the, and the nut bolts, the pipes, the really cool barrels. And it's actually also blast piece compatible, which is really nice to see. Unfortunately, the handles are actually painted red and the plastic silver. And I've actually already seen on one of the handles because he actually has two really due to the uh, storage in their uh, car mode. Unfortunately, it's already slightly started to chip. You can actually see the silver coming through. So I would advise a little bit of caution there. Just I wouldn't say uh, don't fully put the weapon in his hand. And for the car, don't fully put it in both ports. Just kind of have a, a little bit of gap there. I know you probably want a seamless kind of smooth uh, connection between the car and the weapon. I would like it that too. But unfortunately, it's already started to chip. So if you want to prevent that, I would really advise to slightly just a little bit don't put it in there. Um, for the rest of the figure, I really do like the design. The Gunmetal Gray for the hands. There's these really cool kind of armor pieces on his forearms. The design of the chest, the silver, the red, I actually really do like. My only complaint is, unfortunately, there's some uh, areas of the legs that are really not painted. The front of the legs and the top of the legs are just red. And the sculpt work is pretty good. There's some really cool mechanical detail. I really do like how the uh, front of the car, the hood of the car is on the side of the leg. That actually looks super cool. Honestly, I would have liked that as the front of the leg because the front of the legs are just so boring. It's just yellow. So they could have put some silver or maybe some blue there. Yes, that might 
of it that might not be accurate to his original design, but maybe they could do slight of a, a slight modern twist or interpretation of it, and I would be fine with a small change like that. That is just my opinion. Um, now, of course, for articulation, um, I think it's overall pretty good. I think it's pretty uh, average for his Alex figure. I'd say probably the biggest problem is, unfortunately, he does not have a wrist rotation, which I really think he could have because uh, part of transformation, you really don't mess with the arms at all. You just kind of put them to the side. You don't transform the hands. You don't fold them in. You really do nothing with them. So I really don't think anything was stopping them from doing a wrist rotation. That's probably the only limitation or problem I have with the articulation. Now, for transformation, I think it's overall pretty simple, pretty fun. Sometimes it can get a little bit messy because there's a lot of panels and a lot of stuff on his legs as you can see so it's a little bit messy but nothing hard or challenging and um quite fun i actually do quite like doing it and as for the car mode i actually really do like it i really do like how you can get the accessory put it on the front of the car and it actually becomes like this engine blaster section of the hood which is pretty cool unfortunately i do have to say because some people sometimes you might not want to put the accessory on the car so if you don't there's these two huge ports on the front of the hood which is a little bit ugly so i'd hope that maybe they could have um, had a panel that could cover that up whenever you don't want to put the accessory on and when you do you just fold it up that might be asking too much i'm not really sure um as for the rest of the car, I actually do quite like a really nice kind of glossy yellow plastic. I really do like it. There's some cool black designs. I really do like the transparent blue plastic they use for the windscreen, which you can actually see right back there, which is kind of cool. Um, and everything else is um, really nice. Um, the Evo Fusion gimmick is actually super cool because it actually becomes the entire back wheels of the car, so you can barely even tell it was there. It hides away really well, and I do quite like it. So overall, a very good figure. Yes, there's a few problems here and there, like the no wrist rotation. Yes, there is a bit of kibble, as you can see on the back, which I can easily give a pass because it's really due to the evil fusion gimmick and just how it transforms and honestly on some deluxes i can really give a pass some some kibble because it is a deluxe they're like you know 23 dollars. so sometimes there will be a few sacrifices but i really do like this figure it's a really solid uh deluxe and i'm really looking forward to the breakdown he's actually the last deluxe i need and the last figure i need of legacy evolution wave one so i'm really hoping i can get that soon let me know what you think of this figure in the comment section down below and i really do hope that we get some mini cons soon because on this figure there is actually a armada minicon peg or um a, a section on the back of this car it's actually stored away right through there so hopefully we can get some armada minicon soon maybe in the micromaster or core class scale that would be really cool to see or maybe they'll make some big like 10 pack of them that would be so awesome to see so hopefully we'll get those let me know if you think of this area in the comment section down below do you think we're going to get some minicons or maybe they pass on those i don't know and hopefully they make some more armada figures actually let me know in the comment section down below what armada figures would you like to see um rumor is we might get our armada Octa Prime, that'd be pretty cool to see. Maybe we'll get an Armada Tidal Wave or some other figures. That'd be really cool to see. Um, and that is pretty much it for this video, so I'll see you next